So on 11-17, I got um, what was the beginning of over 20 hours of prophecy. And it's taken me 10 days to process it and get verses with it as I have been, you know, instructed. Um, and I'm going to be getting these out as soon as possible. Um, there are 35 of these. So in, I numbered them in case your feed doesn't give you an alert. Or sometimes people tell me that they never saw that a video came up. So I just put numbers on there so you can keep track. Um, so when all 35 come out, if you're interested in seeing them, you can not miss any. Okay, so um, I'm going to get started because there's quite a lot to get through. Um, there's going to be a different video for each of the 35 because a lot of them have a lot of verses that need to be read. Okay, so this was on 11, 17, 23, around 2.40 p.m. And I happened to be driving and I had to like get a thing of paper and like like right without looking on my lap while I'm driving on the freeway at 90. It was great. <laughs> anyway, so here we go. Number one, hear me. A choice will be made. Hear me. Hear me now. The empty will be filled. My word will ring out above the earth. All will hear my heralding angels. You who choose to close your ears will have a price to be paid. To reject my son is to reject me. To reject me is to earn eternal suffering. No one needs to suffer. All can freely come to me through my son, Jesus Christ. My son is the one and only Messiah, the true king of the Jews. He has the authority and genealogy to be the king. He lived a true life on earth and was sinless. He tried to teach his people the truth, but they rejected him. They chose tradition over truth. My son went to the cross for you and those you know. He became the legal sacrifice for the sins of all who join him in legal covenant, becoming sin free and eternally saved. To be in covenant with my son, one must have full faith in me and my son and understand their sin and turn from sin. Sins are discussed in the Bible. A person who understands their sin in view of a sin free God is repentant. They desire to change. They are unable to be changed, to be sanctified without being baptized in water, so the Holy Spirit can enter them, lead them, and cleanse them. A person in covenant is obedient to the words of Scripture. To obey the words of Jesus, the true Messiah, is to obey me, for he is of me. There is no other God. There is no other Messiah. There is no other way but through my only Son, Jesus Christ. Many have decided over the years that there are other gods, messiahs, or various ways to salvation. This is the truth. Jesus is the only way to salvation. Accept him as your savior and allow his leadership. Follow his directives in the Bible. Be baptized and be led by the Holy Spirit. Come before it is too late. Many changes approach the world. The false messiah is to arrive. Do not listen to the lies. Find a paper Bible, read through the words in red. Know my son, he is truth. Through him is salvation, eternal salvation. To take any other path, to follow any other person's lead is to assure a life of eternal torture. I, the Lord God Almighty, do not want to see any perish or suffer eternally, but you must wake up from your stupor. You must arise and come to the truth. Drink of the living water that never leaves anyone thirsty. Come, come. Sights unseen are too soon unfold. Do not delay. Get safely under my wing. I protect my own. Awaken. Hear me. Hear the voice of the Lord. Come. When things unfold, a choice will be made by all. Are the angels in heaven giving a truthful message? You and everyone on the earth will have to make a choice. Who do you say that I am? If you say that I am God, then you should also understand that what I say is true. I cannot lie. It goes against my nature. When I say I have only one son and he is Jesus Christ, that is truth. There is only one way to me. That is truth. Stop your folly. Put down your electronics, pick up a Bible, and get your spiritual self in order. The days left are few. This generation has not done well in my eyes. Find out what I value and seek after me. Learn how to be holy. Learn to run with the Holy Spirit. He will guide your every step. Find me.
I am not an energy to be found within you. I am not a punitive authoritarian. I am love. I created you in your world so you could find me. Come to me. Seek me first and I will bring you to my kingdom. Who the sun sets free is free indeed. Now I have several verses I need to read that coordinate with um, these words. All right, so the verses for number one, Matthew 16, 14 to 16. So they said, some say John the Baptist, some say Elijah and others, Jeremiah or one of the prophets. He said to them, but who do you say that I am? Simon Peter answered and said, you are the Christ, the son of the living God. Acts 2.38, then Peter said to them, repent and let every one of you be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. 1 Corinthians 6.11, and such were some of you, but you were washed, but you were sanctified, but you were justified in the name of our Lord Jesus and by the Spirit of our God. Revelation 14.6, then I saw another angel flying in the midst of heaven, having the everlasting gospel to preach to those who dwell on the earth, to every nation, tribe, tongue, and people, saying with a loud voice, Fear God and give glory to him, for the hour of his judgment has come, and worship him who made heaven and earth, the sea and the springs of water. Habakkuk 2.14 for the earth will be filled with the knowledge of the glory of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. John fifteen twenty three, He who hates me hates my father also. Luke ten sixteen, He who hears you hears me. He who rejects you rejects me. And he who rejects me rejects him who sent me. Hebrews six eighteen, That by two immutable things in which it is impossible for God to lie, we might have strong consolation who have fled for refuge to lay hold of the hope set before us. John 3, 3. Jesus answered and said to him, Most assuredly, I say unto you, unless one is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Matthew six thirty three. But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added to you. Psalm 91, 1 through 4, He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in Him will I trust. Surely He shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the perilous pestilence. He shall cover you with His feathers and under His wings you shall take refuge. His truth shall be your shield and buckler. John 4, 13, Jesus answered and said to her, whoever drinks of this water will thirst again, but whoever drinks of the water that I shall give him will never thirst, but the water that I shall give him will be in him a fountain of water springing up into everlasting life. Revelation 22, 17, and the spirit and the bride say, come and let him who hears say, come. And let him who thirsts come. Whoever desires, let him take the water of life freely. So I hope that encourages you and I'll see you soon.